Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Um, this is my first video and it's a response to how to do my scarf in the crisscross way that I did in the last few photos I uploaded. It's really quick, really easy. All you need is to have a cap on. Um, you need a rectangular scarf and a few pins. Okay, we're gonna do this. Um, so what you want to do is, I like to fold the edge because I don't like having this part of my scarf showing, the naked edge. So I just sort of fold it a little bit behind and then do it on a diagonal. So on one side of your face, you can't see the cap and then it's going towards the back on the other. Then I put my left hand up on here, um, hold it this way and then sort of fold it, fold my scarf forward to get that triangle shape. You can make the angle here, like on the side, like I did, or you can make it in the center. So that's the first crisscross. The next one, and make sure that you sort of iron it on with your hand, right? Because it can come undone. So now you need to make another one on, on the left side of your head. So what you do is you pull some of the scarf from the back, right? You pull some of the scarf from the back, and yeah, cool. So that's sort of the next. You pull that from the back, repeating what you did the first time. And then you put your left hand on it again, and then you pull back from the right side this time. Okay, so now, there we are. Okay, cool. So now I'm happy with how that looks. Can you see that? Oops, I just stuffed it up, see? So I put my hand back again. And I think it's really important to see how things stuff up. I don't, I don't want to edit them out because your scarf will stuff up too as you're doing it and you have to learn how to troubleshoot so so that's I'm happy with the way that looks now um, the next thing that I'm going to do is sometimes you can secure it with a pin here now if you want depending on how soft the scarf is this um, now what I'm going to do is you've got two layers here right take one wrap it around Okay. Now when I wrap it around, I sort of create a third crisscross. So I try and get it in an even, yeah, like that. And then what I do is I put my left hand here again and I try and get one more crisscross out, out of the scarf. Yeah, that's basically how the scarf is. So I'm going to get one side. So I'm going to get one pin. Never put pins in your mouth. <laughs> I have a habit of doing it, but don't do it. It's not good. Um, see how this is pointed there? I don't like that. It, it should just fall down um, smoothly. And the reason why it's not is because when I first did my scuff, you know how I didn't like the naked edge here? So I folded it. Now I need to maintain that fold all throughout the scarf. So basically at the end, when I bring it across, it naturally comes over with that fold. I need to maintain that fold, right? So now, when I pin it down, it should stay down. Okay, great. So I'm pretty happy with that. Sometimes, if you like, you can show less of your cap. So I'm, I am actually showing quite a bit of the scarf falls quite nicely um, and again it's very long on one side because I'm, um, you can do it um, towards the back as well. So as long as you've got a base, so you're bringing it around and then you literally just make another layer. It's the same thing, it's the same core principle of put your left hand there bring it down, right I've got another fold going and I've still got more fabric I can work with so if you like you can sort of just messy it up do whatever you want or you can do more crisscrosses it's really up to you um, and at the end of the day I mean regardless of the way that you wear a scarf um, 
I think wearing your scarf confidently is the most important thing and that confidence comes from knowing why we wear a scarf and not forgetting that um, so it doesn't just become a fashion statement but it's also some it's also a moral statement.